The organic method of marketing for either buyers or sellers uh, kind of is as follows. You call, in the case of looking for people who want to sell a house, you're calling two, peop two, two classes. You're calling either brokers or real estate agents, and then you're calling other real estate investors. And the ones you want to call are the ones who do a lot of marketing. So think of the big wholesalers in your neck of the woods um, when you're thinking of real estate investors. And in the case of real estate agents, you're looking for the agents who you see everywhere, you know, uh, billboards, uh, bus stops, um, you know, marketing, flyers, things like that. The ones who do a lot of advertising is what you're looking for. And what you want to do with those, those folks is you want to get them on the phone and say, listen, I know you guys spend a lot of money for advertising, a lot of money for marketing. You probably get a lot of calls from sellers that you can't take. You either can't buy in the case of a real estate investor or you can't list in the case of a real estate agent or a broker. And so, you know, for, for example, let's say there's a house that's worth 200 and may need carpets cleaned, a door replaced, you know, minor picky stuff. Um, and, and it's, it's worth 200 and they owe 180. That may not be, that won't be enough for a real estate investor, a wholesaler or rehabber to buy. There's just not enough equity for them to get involved in that house. But if they were to get a call from a seller like that in that situation, that would be garbage for them. They, they've spent the money to get that person to pick up the phone and call, but they can't buy the house because there's not enough profit or equity in the deal. Conversely, a real estate agent with something like that, there may not be enough money in there for the seller to list the property because by the time the seller pays closing costs and commissions to the real estate companies, he may end up writing a check instead of getting a check. And so that wouldn't be a good option for that seller either. So in those cases, those are both garbage leads for both the real estate investor and the real estate agent or broker. Um, and you can call those guys and say, listen, you get these garbage leads. You can't do anything with them. We'll take them off your hands. You want to send them to us. We've got a program that allows us to take deals that you can't take and turn them into, essentially take your trash and turn it into treasure. And when we do that, we'll send you $1,000 for each house that we end up doing. And you'll be surprised how easy it is to get them to say yes to that because these are garbage leads. There's nothing they can do. They've spent the money to get the phone to ring, uh, you know, with a theoretically motivated seller on their line, but they can't do anything because of the metrics or because of a whole bunch of other factors, uh, you know, just things they can't deal with. And so that type of marketing is really as simple as you picking up the phone and making calls to those agents and those real estate investors. Now, on the other side of the coin, selling houses, you do almost the same kind of thing. You're calling uh, people, think, you know, just we'll do kind of an exercise in thought here. Think of who out there would run across buyers of homes um, that they can't deal with, the people who are severely motivated to buy a house. And the, the people that come to mind in those kind of situations are, once again, real estate agents or brokers and even closer to the source, it would be loan brokers. You go to loan brokers and say, do you ever uh, get applications for a loan from a, uh, somebody you know, who wants to get a loan, get a house, and you can't qualify them for whatever reason, you can't approve them. Uh, we'll take all those leads off your hands because we have a program that can put those types of folks into houses, whereas you can't. Um, and in turn for that, we'll send you a thousand dollars for each one that we do business with. So Carrie, from your standpoint, that's how you do it. The organic, you know, selling route you call, I would start first with every loan broker in your area. And then I would focus on the buying agent, um, real estate agents, the ones who represent buyers the most, because I can guarantee you that somebody who's a, a big shot buyer's agent in an area frequently gets houses and offers rejected because their um, potential client can't get qualified for a loan. But those are the kinds of people that we end up working with when we do seller finance type vehicles, type, uh, not vehicles per se, but, um, you know, seller finance homes. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully that's clear uh, for both Carrie and, and James and also Jose. I would focus on some of those types of ways to acquire properties. It, it doesn't take anything other than your time, effort, energy, and a phone call. Um, you know, so it, you're not spending big dollars. Now, when you're in the business forever, like me, I've been in this thing 20 years, 
I do almost 100% of my business via referral. I get people bombing me every single day. I get at least 100 houses to look at on a daily basis across the country. Um, at least some days we have, and actually seen this, some days we have through our REO business, a thousand homes at a time, right? Single list, <laughs> you know, sometimes more, uh, sometimes 800, sometimes 2,500, um, you know, it's all referral. That's the bottom line. After you start building a couple of those types of relationships with folks in the market, you can you know, sit back and not spend any more marketing dollars and have all the leads that you want in the world. In fact, I just discovered another one by accident today. I network, you know, every place out there, LinkedIn and you name it. And one of the ones that I started using here about a year ago is called Alignable. And I got a guy offering it, the biggest, turns out he's the biggest guy in the Birmingham, Alabama marketplace. And, um, he reached out to me through Alignable and knew what we did and wants to sell us a bunch of houses that he's got for wholesale out there at pretty good prices. So.